Hey, hello everybody. So glad to have you watching. I'm Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Today I have a bright and cheery electric typewriter for you. This is a Smith Corona Automatic 12. This is a 1970s version. Um, some of you may wonder, well, why don't you know the exact dates on some of these Smith Corona electrics? Well, um, the database just isn't there. We just um, tend to know a, a general range. And um, like this one, it just wasn't anywhere for me to look up. But if you look at the front plate area, and it looks like wood grain, you know, I grew up in a house that had wood paneling. So this has wood paneling on the front. This tells me it's a 1970s uh, version Smith Corona Coronet Automatic 12. The 12 means it's a 12 inch carriage. I recommend this carriage for crafters. It just gives you more flexibility, not that you can't use a smaller carriage. Um, you just have the flexibility of putting your paper in landscape or portrait or using odd shaped paper. Yes, you can also use um, cardstock. Just be aware that the thicker your cardstock, the more likely it is to get bent in the typewriter. It's not gonna damage the typewriter. Um, but you can use it. Okay, so let's take a look at this and see how to use it. This is an all manual, not manual, excuse me. This is an all electric typewriter with the power return. So before I turn it on, I just want to give you guys a warning. Make sure when you're using an electric typewriter, you don't put anything near the carriage of your typewriter because that sometimes it will just break. So, because the carriage will fly, go flying. Um, and so we'll see, I'll turn this on to see if this one will. Oh, hold on, I gotta plug it in. Silly me, I had to plug it in. I'm busy watching the lake out and the boats on the lake instead of talking. Okay, turn it on, and so do you see how it moved on its own? Sometimes when the pre you press the buttons, the um, it'll just make the carriage move when you turn it on. So that was a perfect example. That is why you don't want a mug or a vase or anything breakable, near spillable near your carriage. Okay, I'm going to turn it back off for the moment. Now let's say you want to manually move your carriage. There's two white levers on each side. Just pull that in. Make sure you're holding on to the carriage while you do that because the carriage is going to pull to the left. It has what's called a draw band, and that's what gives it the return action. So when you pull that in, it might fall out of your hand. So just grip it. I just grip the whole thing, and you just pull, and then you can go back and forth. You can hear the bell. The carriage is going to move as far as you have the margins set. So if you were to bring your margins in really, really close, your carriage is only going to go here. Or we can move them way out, and now your carriage, same thing. Okay, so, and then the bell um, always lines up with your left, your right margin, I'm sorry. Um, it tells you that you're at the end of your margins. Now, this little silver piece is your paper guide, and that just helps you line up your paper at the same place every time. Here's a paper holder. I like to pop that up. I'll keep that up because it keeps your paper from flopping over when you're typing. On the right side is your paper release. It releases the tension on this. There's a metal bar that goes all the way across the roller. It does even, it's like a ruler, um, but that holds the paper taut against the um, roller, which is also called the platen. And then right here, you'll see this little metal lever on the right side. This is also the carriage release, depending on what you prefer to use your finger or your ring finger, um, but that also releases the carriage. I'm gonna put that back in the middle for now. I'm gonna pop open the top. You just gently pull it forward and inside you're gonna see a universal ribbon. It has a new ribbon. We install new ribbons on all of our typewriters. We also sell type, uh, ribbons, so you can go to jotandtittletypewriters.com if you need replacements. And we'll even hand wine um, your existing spools if you want. There is an option for that on our website. When you change it out, make sure black is on the top, red is on the bottom. Now keep in mind, when you get to the end of the spool, you need to reverse the direction because there's a lot of ink in here. This ribbon may be short, but it's going to last you a long time. Now on electric typewriters, 
Uh, sometimes they will auto reverse, but if they don't, here's the reverse button right here. Give you a heads up. This is very, very, very important. Listen, even if you're drifting off to sleep or looking at the lake like I am, stop right now and listen to this. When you are typing, if your font gets faint, if your typewriter gets stuck, if your if it just starts acting weird, all of a sudden stop, open up the top, make sure your ribbon um, doesn't need any attention, but always reverse the direction first before you do any other troubleshooting because nine times out of 10, your ribbon needs to be reversed. So pay attention to that. If you try to keep typing, um, you're either gonna punch a hole in your ribbon or on these electric typewriters, a lot of times they just lock up on you and you start thinking, oh, there's something wrong with my typewriter. Um, no, you just reverse the direction of the ribbon and that should take care of it. Okay, so then your tab is here. You just press down and that will tab to set it and clear it and then margin release. So which means when you get to your margin, let's turn this on. And now it's gonna stop because you're at the end of your margin, you hit margin release. And so now you can move and type, okay? And then the power return is a little bit jolty, but you don't have to have the handle. So let's go ahead and put in our paper and do a typing demo. Okay, so the paper goes right here against that paper guide and against this back plate. And you just set it there. You don't need to shove it down in there or force it. And then turn the handle while you're holding the paper and it'll pull it right through. And then pull. you need to pull out this bar Pull the paper through and then put the bar down on the paper and you can adjust the rollers to wherever you want. That just helps keep the paper tight against the roller and you're ready to go. So this is, and this is your color selector. I'm going to put it on red. And so this is a 1970s. Let's do lock, smith, corona, coronet, automatic, 12. Oops, and I always forget. So when you make a mistake, just backspace, dash through it. Oh, that's an underscore, backspace. <laughs> X through it, and uh, 12. Okay, so power return. Oh, by the way, right here, one, two, three, when you hit return, it's gonna advance either one, two, or three lines. You set it here based on where you want it. Okay, so um, I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna type out, I'm gonna put it on black. So the serial number for this particular one is six. So I'm starting to keep a um, notebook of all the different fonts, kind of like a um, typewriter um, database, not typewriter database, a um, type font database. And so that's why I'm adding the serial number this first time I've done that. And let's go ahead and do some typing. Whoops, okay, backspace. Sorry, I am not typing very well today. I'm gonna dash through that. Okay, let's check out all the letters now, and all the keys. Okay, so I notice on this one that the um, shift lock occasionally pops out. And then also on electric typewriters, there are three keys that um, have an auto repeat, and that's your dash, 
your X and your period. Okay, so that's how this works. This actually works pretty well. I'm going to go, I'm going to do the shift lock again. Okay, so it's holding there. It types easily, types well, um, but twice it did, the shift lock did pop out on me, but not on that last time. So just as an FYI. So this actually was works really well. So I would say this is great for college students, homeschool kids. Um, maybe you have uh, somebody in your family that's an aspiring poet or other creative writer. This would be a super fun gift for them. And that pop of color just really brightens the room. So if you want to know more information, please follow the link in the description below. If this is already sold, I hope this is just helpful for you in learning how to use your typewriter. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate it when you subscribe. Um, and also visit jotandtittletypewriters.com for typewriter pads, ribbons, typewriter covers, and I even have typewriter puzzles. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.